Yes, uh, my name is Sascha Finor. I'm working as an editor at Site Online. It's uh, the uh, news site from our sister weekly newspaper, Die Zeit. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to be here because um, I will meet my new boss. He seems to be in the room. Ah, hi. <laughs> He's joining our team in July. I'm very happy to work with you and shake hands later. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I, I want to, to have some uh, tap hopping in the browser with you um, to show some, some projects. Some, some, the first thing I want to show to you is, uh, I wouldn't call it a project, I want to, to take some fear away that data journalism has to be a data visualization, interactive, everything. I think you have to look on, on the story you want to tell. And sometimes it's enough to have a, a, a static JPEG with the, with the results of your story. Uh, well, you'll find all our data journalism stuff on, on this uh, URL. Um, well, where surprisingly, as uh, Bavaria Munich, Bayern München, the, the football club, is playing uh, from this season, uh, season in the first basketball league in Germany as well. And um, we, we had an appointment with the uh, former uh, national trainer in basketball, uh, Dirk Bauermann. Now he's coach from Bayern München in the basketball Bundesliga. And um, uh, he's always talking about the problems of, of German players playing in their home league because there are a lot of American players and, and players from other countries and they, they don't have a chance to, to practice. And, uh, we wanted to talk about uh, with him about this story, and um, then we thought, okay, when we pre prepared for this interview, what what's exactly the situation for German players in the league? So you have got a lot of statistics uh, on the official uh, website of the, the basketball Bundesliga, and so we had a typical interview situation, but we were prepared and we could talking and, and asking him questions based on the reality in the, in the league. So we, we went on the official site and then picked up the data that you have on the second, how, how long the player stayed on the court and the nationality. And then we put it together and then you see how, how, how very difficult the situation for German basketball players. They only 25% of the time they are on the court. And so it's very difficult to, to have uh, very good German players playing in the uh, national team, for example. And if you see Bayern München is doing the same thing in the football sector, they, they try to, to take a very good German players and give them a key role. And the same they do in the basketball. And we, we could see it in the, in the statistics. You see the other team, they have only 25%, but Bayern München, they are just the half of the time. So, uh, and for example, here you see all the, the, the playoff mem uh, member teams are the uh, points national players score. And you see um, the, the team from Bonn, their teams, just no drum player who is able to score. Just an example to, to, to show you, it, it must, must be a big story you have to, to visualize. It's sometimes only such a small module you can integrate in your article. And very important for us is, you see the, the link, just try to give the data to the people that they can go through. Here you see the, um, the player statistics in a, in a public Google Doc. And all people can, can see uh, on which database we worked on. Um, we did the same thing for football. You see there are quite different situations for German players. Um, I think you could do it for, for other ball sports as well because the statistics are there. Um, just an example for, for, simple, for simple data journalism integration in, in articles. Um, just another little bit older project um, in this, when the situation in Japan was that um, around Fukushima people had to leave the area around uh, the, the nuclear plant, uh, we thought, okay, it's a story we can tell, but 
what would this mean to a German nuclear plant? How many people had, have to leave and where are they situated? And it was uh, with help of uh, Gregor Eich, very, very good freelancer we work with, we could do this thing within two days because it was, was, was a story at the moment. We couldn't say we could do it in four weeks and it would be very nice and the story would be uh, gone. And you see, uh, whenever we can do it and just data projects are very good for this, we, we try to translate it uh, into an English version and uh, it's quite easy to adapt and then you can reach a, a bigger audience with your, with your stories. Um, we, we did the same for, for US uh, nuclear plants, but if you see, we, we, we want to, to give the readers uh, the possibility to, to interact, and in this we, we want to inter give the interaction that you can play with, with the uh, radius, so if you see 50 kilometers means in some areas around Hamburg in the north, 2.7 million people would have to leave this area. It's horror to, to imagine. And that, that was for us a chance to, to use data and, and, and geolocation and, and Google Maps to, to, to give a, a value for, for another visualization. Um, another project um, was we, we had Sometimes we have topic weeks where we um, have a topic and, and all, all the departments are giving stories to, to this topic and there was a topic, the, the topic uh, of a baby born in 2012. What is his future, what is his life from, from education and so on and we, we thought okay, there's a lot of data, um, perhaps we can try to show um, how many young and older people will live in the society, this baby will grow up. And um, normally you see uh, projections of populations in this way. It's like a pyramid, okay, we all know it from school books and so on. Um, but we put the same data set from the uh, official Federal Bureau of Statistics in Germany and um, did another way. We wanted to um, show a group photo of the German society to give, to give a feeling which people are living in this society. Um, and we, we decided to reduce this view on always 40 people. Imagine we start in 1950 and the prospection goes to 2060 and um, in every year 40 people come to the photo and we clustered the people in, in different life situations to, to see what are the things a society has, has to could cope with. As you see in 1950, we have a lot of young people, children, you have to, to, to have the teachers in school and so on. And just in the first step you can press the play button and go through the, the decades, the years, um, but we wanted to personalize, personalize it and we want to say, okay, perhaps you can stand on this photo. So just enter your verse. I just, my gender. So, and you see now there's this person, this baby in the year 1970. And now we can press the play button. And now this human being is aging on this picture. And um, it's just a simple, simple thing, but I think to, to take the people and, and bring them in the story, it's, it's the best way. And this is the way they want to share. And this is always very important for us. You see, Yeah, died. <laughs> uh, you see, right here, it's very important. If you enter the site, you have to see whatever I will see here, I can share it very quite easy, easily. Um, and I think it's, if you think of, of the behavior in social, in social media spheres, it's, it's better to, to 
have a tweet beginning with see this, then read this. I think a see is, is stronger, it's, it's better to, to, to communicate. And um, so we always try to give these uh, options to, to share it on social media. Um, just one aspect, um, if you see on, on the food note, we, again, we have all the data in a, in a Google spreadsheet because we, we mixed all the data sets from the German Federal Bureau of Statistics together and uh, we are proud, we published it and uh, in the evening I was sitting in front of my, of my Mac and suddenly there was a tweet uh, of, a, of a blogger that uh, said, on oh, is not good, it's uh, fate. Oh, what happened? And that's, that's a point of, of data journalism. It's, uh, it's, uh, we have the data set and people can say it's wrong or it's true. And we had a mistake in this, in this area because we, we had the, the wrong source in the text. So, and he said, you're wrong. And he was right. So we had to, to fix the error. We do fixing errors in, in public, say, oh, sorry, it's our fault. But for me, it was a proof of that this is the right way because a journalistic story can be, can be proved by, by the audience because they, they have the facts in the spreadsheet in this example. So it was not a nice evening for me, but I believe in data journalism. Um, <laughs> uh, just one, one aspect. Um, when we decided to, to go from 100 persons on this photo to 40, I had to, 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 to calculate in which, how, which, which uh, people are on this photo and the, the digits after the commata. So I had to, to, to arrange it and then I came to, to the funny fact that it's the same situation than in, in, a, in a parliament. If you have 40 seats, you have to calculate in the same. So I, I calculated based on the Hare Niemeyer verfahren in Germany. <laughs> it's, uh, it was quite funny to, to, to learn the Hare Niemeyer verfahren uh, doing in Excel, but now I can do it. But perhaps I will never use it again, my knowledge. Um, how, how many time do we have? One minute, okay. Um, just a visualization. Based, based on this, is, uh, the story is um, that uh, the Deutsche Bank um, said, okay, um, cluster bombs are bad and we won't, we won't give money to companies who, who uh, finance this, this, this uh, stuff and produce it and uh, together, together with a, with a uh, non-profit organization, Facing Finance is their name, um, we, we found out, okay, it's not the truth. The Deutsche Bank is... Uh, still giving money in, in form of loans to the companies. And we decided to tell the story in, in the text form, in the article form, but you see we visualize it again and right here you see the different companies from the Deutsche Bank and the different loans. The bigger the circle is, the bigger the money flows. And you see just this is the point where Deutsche Bank announced that they won't give money to them and you see, okay, it still happened. So just uh, a form to visualize the dynamic that they still put the money in and, and you have the Oslo Convention where all people say cluster munition is bad but always the money went to these companies and you see, if you click on it, the ways, the money flows. So it was a long discussion how to, to, to show it, but I think it, it shows really the, the flow of, of money and you can learn about what the company is producing in, in this uh, sector. Thank you.